Hello everybody and welcome to the second session about our guided changeover solution. In the last video we learned about what the guided changeover solution is about, what kind of benefits uh, we can give to the customers, how can the software help in format change applications and also what is an evaluation kit and how to get that kind of evaluation kit about this solution. And this time uh, we are going the next steps and try to find out how to work with that kind of evaluation kit. We will do the first steps in software and we will do also some configuration. Okay, to start with this evaluation kit we uh, just prepared a set of different components here which can be also in that kind of evaluation kit. What we have is a so-called edge gateway where our solution is running on uh, connected to this ed edge gateway will be a so-called BNI IO-Link master module and on the ports of this IO-Link master module all the necessary devices like sensors or actuators, smart lights, um, position indicators and so on are connected. And during this session we will try to find out how to work with this system, how to configure and how to parameterize this. We selected uh, a number of different devices um, and this is as I said the edge gateway and the master module connected on the master module is first of all here a so-called smart light indicator and this smart light indicator can be used to detect or to indicate if a, a preparation a configuration of a specific device is correct or not. As well we have a so-called um, position indicator, a digital position indicator, and this is perfectly uh, to be used to detect the width of a conveyor belt, for example, which is uh, very common in a form of change application. Also a measurement system is this BTL, and this is also uh, used to detect different sizes and can be used, for example, to detect the height of a uh, shrinking tunnel or whatever. Uh, we also have a smart light uh, indicator uh, device which always indicates the actual status of the running format change activity. So are all the steps finished? Is everything okay? Is there a mistake or something like that? This will be indicated all the time uh, with, the, uh, smart, with this smart light. The last one is our RFID read write head. This is one example of our different solutions and this uh, RFID read write head we are going to use to detect possible different change tools which might be necessary during the format change. The connection of all these devices is always the same. It's all based on IO-Link so all the devices will be connected with a standard three-wire sensor cable just connected to the master port and then to the device as well. And that's it. So it's the same with all the other devices. In the software, um, first we can um, give an IP address to the IO-Link master we are going to use for this. We are connected here with the PC directly to the IO-Link master and with a standard web browser I can open up this web server and the IO-Link master modules are coming with a standard IP address which is um, in the manual um, mentioned and uh, will also come up with a username and a password. We will need that later on. So this is the access to the IO-Link master module via the web server. And uh, first of all, we can switch to English language here and then we have the chance to log in to this module. And as I said, the username and the password is uh, mentioned on the side of the module and this is a standard one and as soon as you logged in of course you have the chance to change these 
username and password. So we are going to log in and if we did that, then we have the chance here now to give the IP, IP address to this IOLink master module. This should fit to the IP address range where also the gateway is working in. So we will leave this here as it is. This is okay, this IP address, and we have to keep this in mind. This is what we have to use later on in our software. So we can disconnect now the master and connect it directly to the edge gateway. And our PC is now connected to the second port of the gateway as well. And uh, the access to this gateway is also via uh, our web browser. And here the IP address is 192.168.10.1. So and this is the first picture the operator sees or the uh, customer sees when he's starting the guided changeover software package. So you see, um, not that much uh, available right now. There is an area which is called monitoring, where the operator later on can monitor all the running uh, formats or recipes. And there is uh, product selection, which is when we uh, step into that, um, still empty, of course, because here you will find later on all the created recipes. We have also an area here where you can find uh, help um, information, um, helpful um, information about uh, the software itself, the handling, the configuration and so on. You can change the language from English to either German or Portuguese and we have the login area which is quite important. You need this if you want to create new recipes, delete new recipes, change recipes or uh, do a hardware configuration. So we are going to log in here and um, put in our password. Here we are with the standard password, which you can find in the manuals. And after logging in the first time, you have the chance to change this password. So you have to use this standard password again. And then you can use your own password for the future. The password is changed and you see after logging in we have much more possibilities not only monitoring and product selection but also the product configuration where we will create the recipes later on. Uh, we see the hardware configuration to configure the master module and all the connected devices. We have the exchange part configuration where we configure the different RFID tags which might be mounted on the different change tools. We have the backup and restore area where you can back up, uh, save projects and restore or upload the projects again. And we have the device configuration here and let's start with this device configuration. This is the configuration of the port, of the flexible port of our edge gateway. We have one port on the edge gateway where we can set up free a IP address subnet mask and gateway address. This is uh, what we are going to use and this should be um, correlating to what is uh, set in the uh, rest of the topology, especially in the IOLink master. Okay, going back to the home screen. Now let's start with a hardware configuration. We want to configure this system here to create later on recipes. We are going into the hardware configuration. There is nothing right now. Uh, go further on with add new. And now we can add our first IOLink master module. And the, the first thing we have to do is to put in the IP address of this master module. 
This is what we said before. And we can give the name of this master module uh, so um, that you can find or identify this master clearly because with switches and hubs and so on, it's possible to expand the topology so that you can use also more than only one master module in the future. So we say this is the master for application number one. The username and the password is the username and password which is integrated in the master itself. We saw before that we used the username and password to give an IP address to this IOLINK master module. This is what you have to put in here. And there is also a standard password which, which is mentioned on the side of the module. And uh, of course later on you can also change this. But what you type in here should correlate with what is in the master module. So here it is, still the standard password and username administration. So this is what you have to type in, the uh, details of this master module. And if you did that, the software will connect to this master and will uh, check what kind of devices are connected. So as soon as the software connects to the master, all the, IO, all the ports will be switched on as an IOLINK port and that gives the software the possibility to also check what kind of devices are connected. So we see this master is connected and now we can go further on to the device configuration. So let's select this and you see already that a number of devices are already connected. Uh, let's start with this ENI0088. This is our smart light here. And as I said, the smart light will later on uh, indicate the status all the time um, about the current format change uh, activity, which is currently running. So we can apply what the software found. This module is OK, and we can give a clear name uh, to this device as well. And we say, OK, this indicates the status of the format change. Let's save this. On port 3, now it's configured, you see, and detected and switched on already. On port number 3, we have this um, smart light indicator here. And I already told you that this can be used to check if the settings and configurations of a specific uh, device are OK. And we will use this as well and say this is for check device config and save this. On port 4, we have this BTL, this measurement system. And uh, as I said, this can be used to check the height of a shrinking tunnel, for example. Then we have our BDG, the digital position indicator. And with this, we want to uh, change the width of a conveyor belt. So this is this unit. And we say, OK, this is for checking the conveyor belt width. OK, and the last one is our RFID read write head. And this is what we are going to use to detect and check the different tools, the different uh, change tools, which we might use during the different recipes. So that is our RFID read write head. And this is for the change tools. So the last port we are going to configure is port number eight. And may you already recognize that every time when you configure a device or a port, you have the chance to select this port as a handshake port. And we will do this with our port number eight here. And uh, as soon as we did this, 
the software detects this as a handshake port and that means on pin 2 and pin 4 of this specific port we are going to have a digital interface to a possible PLC or controller or something like that. These pins will always indicate if the format change is running or if there are any problems in the format change or something like that. This could be a very, very easy interface and uh, indication to a PLC controller, for example. The hardware configuration, you see it's quite simple, very easy, not uh, that much to do. We have to give clear names so that we can find these units later on in our recipe and how to create uh, a recipe we will see in the next session. So this is for today. Thank you very much for joining and hope to see you again.